Thank you, Laska Hirlock. I'm not sure if the previous um, senator was trying to say uh, whether this was, if this was uh, irrelevant and therefore uh, not worth the time or is so important that we need more time. But um, I actually think uh, this is a, a very Im important um, referendum and uh, I will be voting yes, yes to it. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm conscious that I'm coming to this debate today reflective uh, of my own experiences and views uh, that have actually brought me into politics. Um, this is personal and, uh, and I think it will be for uh, all the uh, diversity of women uh, that we meet on the doorsteps uh, and, and we meet um, through the doors of Leinster House. Um, I'm, I'm not a constitutional bar uh, barrister, I, I don't work in law, uh, but I have worked in the corporate world uh, and I've worked as a stay-at-home mum. And I find both hugely rewarding and hugely challenging in equal measure. And there are two beliefs that I have. Um, and that is whether you work in the boardroom um, or you work, uh, in, if you're working in the boardroom growing your revenue or you work in your sitting room raising your children, uh, your choice should be valued and supported. And uh, the second uh, belief uh, that I have is that as a government and as a state, we should be de-gendering those choices around care and formal economic activity. Um, so I, I, I don't believe um, that uh, caring duties should be seen as something that women do um, uh, uh, predominantly. And um, the assumption in the past was that uh, gender equality um, was dependent on economic independence um, on a revolution in the workplace. Um, but I also believe that we need a revolution in our homes when it comes to sharing care. Um, and I don't necessarily mean that that is divided 50-50. Um, on a daily basis. I mean that more men take up the role of care um, in the home uh, than we see. Um, because at the moment, um, we're all uh, very familiar with the second shift and that the women, that women who work then go home to, to take on the majority, uh, or for most women, they take on the majority of caring duties as well. Um, so I think as, as a government, we have progressed uh, corrective policies in order to address gender uh, e equality, but we also need positive policies as well um, in order to, to um, uh, bring about that revolution uh, in the home. Um, so I'm voting yes, yes to the, to the, the referendums, removing gendered language um, to, to um, see Ireland become one of the first countries in the world to enshrine the value of care in the constitution. Um, and I'm even happier to hear you say that there is an onus on the state for the progressive realisation of support for care. Um, and that it's not symbolic as it was in 1937. Um, and what does that look like? And I think that this, that conversation is really important as part of this debate. It, it's accessible and affordable childcare so that women uh, and, and, and men have a choice about uh, if they are going to uh, care in the home or uh, and work in the home or if they're going um, to return to work. It means um, building on paternity leave, paid paternity leave, um, uh, and bringing it um, closer to, to maternity leave um, and looking to countries like Iceland that have um, a required time uh, or, or, or of sharing uh, parental leave. Um, it's looking at your work-life balance uh, bill, Minister, and not just introducing flexible work for parents and carers, because uh, my concern is that the people that will take that will still be women. And in order to democratise flexible work, you've got to normalise flexible work. Um, and I think we should be looking to countries like Finland, where they have core working hours that gives it to everybody and allows parents to juggle uh, both caring duties and work. And you'll see the numbers of of, uh, of women 
in work is higher there than the, the number of hours that, that fathers spend with their children is higher. It's a basic income for carers and moving away from uh, the means-tested carers allowance. It's support uh, for people to live independently. It's a carer's guarantee. Um, it's supporting our disability groups and uh, our family carers. So I, I agree with removing ger gender stereotypes. We're recognising all families in society um, and recognising that it's the family and the people in Senator, the family that you. are the primary unit in society, speaker. not the institution of marriage. Thank to you. Call on Senator Marie Sherlock.